All right, it's two days later, it's Saturday. As you can see, it's still cloudy out. Wind's kicking up pretty good, so there might be some noise, but we're gonna get back on this thing. Um, first things first, I get these areas cleaned up. Got a piece of sandpaper. Get in here and get all this corrosion out of here. It's pretty nasty. Two things. It's gonna make it easier to put in. And it's gonna seal. We're gonna get all this cleaned out of here. Nice. All that corrosion out of there looks good. Wiped it out. Got the new water pump. Got the new O ring on it. I put a little bit of wheel bearing grease on there. It'll help us get it in there. Won't tear up the seal. And hopefully, it'll help the next guy get this thing out because I fought this thing coming out. As you can see, there's a notch in that thing. You want to clock that notch, top notch, right about 12 o'clock. And get your hold down bolts started. We're going to tighten those down. And we'll start putting the covers back on, getting the belt back on. We've got to put the cam pulleys on. I'll show you how to get those lined back up. So stay tuned. Okay, got the water pump in, got the bolts started. I just started it by hand with this little 5 millimeter Allen screw or Allen wrench. Just hand tighten them that way we can move it around because we're going to turn it here to set the belt tension for the timing belt. So we'll get there in a minute. We're going to start putting them covers back on first. The rear, we're going to put the rear cover on right now. Okay, and then we're going to put these cam gears back on. A dial pin there. There's a hole. This is the front. You see where the bolt, the witness marks where the bolt used to be. Um, they are marked with a with a I and an E, which is intake and exhaust. Actually, they're not marked. The exhaust is not marked, but the intake is. It's marked I. And of course, the timing's off a little bit because I'd use the impact gun to get the bolts loose, which I'm going to tighten them back up. But when you tighten them back up, you hit it with the gun. Make sure you try and hold this gear as still as possible, so you don't roll it over and bend over the owls. Once you get the pulleys tightened back down, take a socket and a wrench and get your marks back close to where they should be. We'll, we'll double check them when we get done, get ready to put the belt on it. I gotta put the, oh shoot, see what it does? It'll jump on you. Put it right there for now. I gotta put that big old honking motor mount on. Okay, skipped forward. I had a visitor. Sorry, got the belt on. Got these marks lined up. Got the crank pointing down right at its mark. It's kind of hard to see because the sun. I've already rolled it over twice, which is what you need to do. Check the timing, make sure it's correct. The first time I rolled it over, these were off a tooth. This mark was up here instead of down here, so make sure you roll this engine over twice, line the marks back up, double check it so you don't damage anything. So, got the motor mount on, got the water pump in, got the belt on, the pulleys on, got it timed, everything's good and snug. There is a, I don't know if I can get you in there, but you can see a pointer in here pointer right there my finger is there's a notch right behind it you need to make sure those are lined up the way you do that is you rotate the water pump clockwise I was just tapping on it right here there's actually a tool for it but I was just tapping on it with a screwdriver and a hammer hopefully it'll be okay all right the sun's killing us today got the timing covers back on and they put the serpentine belt and the motor mount back on it in the air box and we'll fire it up. Okay, motor mount's on, new serpentine belt is on, let me 
probably can't see that right now because it's super duper sunny. So, let me find it up here in a second. It's hot as hell out here. So, got it running. And I gotta admit, admit, I made a mistake. I mixed up the cam gears. I got in it and some bitch wouldn't start. Stupid mistake. I didn't mark it. So, just remember. Mark your tam cam gears, mark your timing marks, you know, mark everything, mark everything. But, uh, yeah, I had to tear it all back down, swap the cam gears around, got it timed out, and I mean, it's running like a champ, check it out. Nice and smooth, no noises, no leaks, she's kicking ass. I'm pretty sure the check engine light is not on. Let's check that real quick. Ooh, AC's on, that's nice. Yeah. No check engine light, normal temperature. So. so there you go. Hope you got something out of that. Um, like I said, don't mix those gears up. That was a dumbass mistake I made, but it's my fault. I, I set the cam gears down on the timing cover and then I put the timing cover in the car. When I took it back out, it was in a different position. And they will go on the wrong way. They will go on the wrong cam. It just won't start. Luckily, it didn't do any you know valve damage or anything. So. I was having a hell of a time getting it timed, and I should have got the hint then, but anyway, but hey, I got it fixed. Like I said, check your timing marks. You know, turn the engine over twice after you get the timing uh, belt on there. Make sure everything lines up, you know, before you fire it up. Make sure you don't mix the gears up. You know, just put all new parts on it. Buy the kit, the water pump, the belt, the idler, and the tensioner, everything. Everything will be good. I put a new serpentine belt on. I put new spark plugs in it while I was at it. So, so I said, uh, tomorrow's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Um, and, uh, get out there and fix something, man. I'll see you. Peace.